My name's Edward Onichi. I'm an associate professor of history. I'm the chair of the history department. I'm also one of the core African-American and Africana studies faculty, and I'm one of the CIE coordinators. Yeah, I have this new book. It's called Free the Land, the Republic of New Africa and the Pursuit of a Black Nation State. It's the first full history of the Republic of New Africa, or as I say throughout the book, the New African Independence Movement, which is an attempt of folks who call themselves New Africans to liberate five states from the U.S. South. Something called the Republic of New Africa. They raised a flag and stated their purpose, to form an independent black nation in the South. The New African Independence Movement officially kicked off in March 1968, and it's still going to this day. Yeah, when thinking about the New African Independence Movement, it's important to place it within its broader historical context, right? So nationally, there were a number of social movement organizations such as the Black Panther Party, the US Organization, and many, many others who were active as part of the Black Power Movement in just the general 1960s. And so the New African Independence Movement actually brought some of these different forces together in a way that helped over time lead to what we now know as the modern reparations movement. The big thing I try to teach students or, or ask them to embrace is their own sense of empowerment. Try to think independently. It's very difficult, it's very, very hard, but the more we put in the work to try to do that, the more reward we'll get um, individually and I think as, as a community.